Hey, what's going on guys? It's Red Dog. This is going to be a review of the new headset I just got. It's the Triton Warhead 7.1 Dolby Digital. I didn't want to do like an unboxing or like my gaming setup or whatever. I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you want to actually see the product. I'll take it to you to their direct page so you can see what it looks like. But I figured you guys would rather watch some gameplay than watch me sit here and, and push the little buttons on my headset. So anyway, I'm going to go over... um product design, uh, what I like, what I don't like, and uh, everything, so so here I go. First off, just the overall design and comfort, it, um, it fits your ears really well. The material they use on the ear cups, even after prolonged use, I mean my ears got a little sweaty, but I figure that's with any headset, that's how it was with my old one. Um, they were pretty comfortable overall. They're kind of snug, like I, I have a big head, and the band is really padded and it fit comfortably, it's just it fits a little snug to your ears like there's a there's a little bit of tension in the headband that's like one of the only things I don't like so yeah comfort comfort I give it like an 8 out of 10 um, as far as the sound, the sound is amazing now it only has one speaker so it's simulated Dolby surround but the sound is like way more precise than my old stereo headset um, really high highs, good bass, um, great for Call of Duty, even like when I was playing Skyrim, um, I heard things I never heard before. Like you walk into a village and there's like someone burning a fire in the next house, you can hear it, or people walking through the grass I never heard, but for Call of Duty, that's I know what primarily everybody gets their headset for, um, it was amazing. Now this thing costs 300 bucks, so I'm not saying that it's, it's worth an extra hundred or two hundred dollars from another headset but overall it's comfortable and it sounds amazing now one of the coolest features about it is that it is a hundred percent wireless now there's other wireless headsets out there the, the two I was thinking about was the Astro A50 and the um, the Turtle Beach like XP400 or XP500 now with the Astros you still have to use a chat cable from your headset to your controller and then in the uh, Turtle Beaches, it has like this little plug-in that goes into your controller. It's this little fat, little nubby thing. And I didn't want anything plugged into my controller. I want 100% wireless. And uh, this one is made in conjunction with Microsoft, so it communicates directly with the console. I don't need to plug anything to my controller. I'm just sitting there with my wireless controller and my headset, and I'm good to go. It's pretty cool. Like even when you press the home, um, like the home button on your controller to bring up. Uh, your like your preferences or profile in the game just where it has your normal battery meter for your control now there's actually a battery meter for uh, for my headset and I just thought I thought that was really cool you only get that with the Triton because of all the Microsoft stuff it has in it as far as the mic quality um, the mics really responsive really clean um, I didn't have any problems it uh, that's one of the big reasons I didn't get the Astros one, I know there was a big uh, like humming sound that a lot of people were having coming from it, and then I know their mics were just like wouldn't work or mic quality sucked. But uh, yeah, I haven't had any problems with this whatsoever. I've used it a lot in the last like three days. As far as some of the small features go, um, if you don't have a current generation Xbox and you're still using just like stereo audio, um, there is a way to hook it up with uh, just the red and the red and white stereo audio. But for me to be the fully uh, digital, all you do is you plug in one little plug for the uh, digital optical out on the back of your Xbox, and then that goes straight into the, the base station for this, and that was it. Power cable, one audio cable, and your full Dolby Digital 7.1 surround. So hooking it up was really easy. Um, but back to the buttons, there's like, I mean, there's like obviously like volume control and then... Um, voice volume, they're independent, so you can turn up like the, the game audio and the uh, the voice audio independently, which is cool, so you can find your perfect setting. And it has three built-in EQ settings, um, one's for movies, one's for music, and one's for gaming, and I haven't really messed with the two other settings. I can tell the music one has more bass, and I haven't really messed with the movie one, I just leave it on the gaming one because it has really crisp highs, like when flashbangs go off, obviously footsteps, um, it just sounds really, really good. So yeah, from your headset, you can uh, you can switch between the digital 
and the uh, the stereo if you need to say it was hooked up to like your stereo surround sound or just your stereo um, for CDs through your just regular um, analog hookups but then it was hooked up digitally for your Xbox you can switch back and forth so you can have multiple inputs on it yeah it has selective voice monitoring which is really cool because like when I'm wearing a headset I don't like not hearing myself talk it, it just bugs me I find myself talking really loud so this you can you can press it and you pick up your own voice through your mic and it transmits your audio through your ears you know your your ear cups your headset so you can hear yourself as you talk which I really like because then it gives me the balance um, I'm not screaming in the room while I'm playing video games looking at it there's not much else to talk about I mean it has um it has a sync button like I said just like your controller and uh, it syncs automatically and it's got a power button and then uh, the battery goes into uh, your your right ear cup and that's what's really cool about this too it doesn't take double-a batteries and you're not having to constantly mess with even just rechargeable double A's it comes with two legit lithium ion batteries one charges in your base station and then one's in your headset so you always have batteries ready to go there was no any kind of interference it uses all the 5.8 gigahertz wireless technology and I have a uh, direct TV whole home DVR meaning it uses Wi-Fi to transmit um, like the recorded signal throughout my whole house I got my Xbox we got an iPad a Kindle two cell phones and laptop and everything on the Wi-Fi plus home wireless uh, home phones and I didn't get any kind of interference or fuzz on this so whatever they use to, me to communicate with um, the signal they use is great no interference problems or fuzz or anything so far it's been hundred percent problem free now the only thing that came up and this is kinda of specifically for me because I'm a YouTube guy is that I'm having trouble connecting it to my my HD PVR to re record in-game audio not in-game audio, um, party chat or game chat. So I think it could just be me because my HD PVR doesn't have a digital optical, a digital audio in and digital audio out. Um, it still uses the stereo. So I gotta figure out some kind of way to get the digital signal for when I'm playing, but then when I record, I might have to switch to the analog just like I was talking about with the stereo. But I haven't done all that yet, but it wasn't, it wasn't very easy for me to hook up with a YouTube setup because it's not like a wired headset where you actually have to like plug in the female into the adapter through one um, it was so easy to hook up that it actually made it you know I gotta figure out the complicated way to fig to uh, get it going through my recorder and that's only if I want to do like game chat recording when we're doing uh, like tactical gameplay or if I was ever gonna do trolling but so far I've made 75 videos and I've never used the, the game chat so for right, right now it's not a problem for me in addition with that since it is only Microsoft uh, Xbox 360 for all those guys that use, um, they could use it for live comms, like like I'm talking about if they had it hooked up uh, through their recorder. I mean, on the other HD PVRs, it probably had, I know the Elgato, I'm sure I'll have digital audio in and out or HD, HDMI in and out, but um, you can't like, there's no, it has no cords, so you can't just plug it in to your PC and use it for your regular commentaries also. I know that the other Tritons and the Astros, it has like a that three and a half millimeter adapter, so you can use it as your regular microphone if you want, for like Skype calls and all that. And uh, there is a line out on the audio, but I don't think that's convertible to like a regular signal. So this is main. This is only for an Xbox 360 headset. So yeah, you could do a live com that has game chat once you had it all hooked up right. But like if you were gonna do a let's play and the the game doesn't support um, in-game audio or game chat, you're gonna have to use like a PC headset and plug it into your computer and record the audio that way. So for the YouTuber side of things, um, it's not as versatile as I would like. The A50 would be a better investment if you're gonna use this as your primary headset for everything you do and microphone. So overall, I'm like. I'd say 90% satisfied, but the sound is so good, and then the wireless capability of it. And I know a chat cable, like from your your A50s, isn't a big deal, 
but it's pretty cool to be 100% wireless. I don't have to worry about anything else. I don't have to set my controller and my headset down at the same time. I can put my headset right back on his docking station, and then I can put my controller in its case, and it's not like this awkward put away every time I have to stop gaming or whatever. I got They already got their exact stations, and I'm good to go. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, uh, just leave me a comment, and I'll make sure to respond to you with anything specific. I think I went over all the features. I mean, all the features are out there. They're going to be in the link that I put in the description. And uh, if you guys want to see me, like, actually holding it and showing you some of the stuff, I can do that. But I figured their website already has way better pictures and details on it than I'm going to have. I just wanted to give you a hands-on, like, Call of Duty gameplay YouTube review of it so you can know what to expect for either of those setups but I would totally suggest this um, for all you just like the regular gamers that aren't gonna do the YouTube stuff it's it's by far the best headset I've ever heard and if you are a YouTuber you probably have a mic like I do anyway and it's not gonna be that big of a deal anyway thanks for watching guys I got the a new scuff gaming controller also that'll be the next I don't know if it'll be the next video I do but I'll, I'll be sure to get that review going up here quickly it's hard to find honest reviews on YouTube all these guys reviewing the Astro A50s are sponsored by it. So they're not going to tell you if it broke. They're just going to be like, hey, Astro, send me another one. This one broke. But I paid my own money for this, so 300 bucks for a headset is quite a bit. And uh, I didn't get hooked up by Scuff either. We, we bought all that, so you know it's, it's an honest review. Um, if it sucked, I would have told you because I would have sent it back and would have went and got something else. But I love it. Very happy. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.